Morning guys. No, I did not just get up. I was sitting in the living room playing with Riley in the midst of watching this one girl that's annoying. <laughs> Anyways, and I noticed the back on my earring is gone. Yeah. So I was like, well maybe it fell off in the bed because Riley has a bad tendency. Oh, when he sleeps with me, he plays with my hair and I thought, well maybe my hair got caught in my earring and it just pulled it out, but I don't see it. So, and of course it's like so tiny to be on the floor, I mean, really, so, I don't know, I don't know where it would be, I was looking to see if maybe like Dell happened to have like seen it and put it like up somewhere, but I don't see it anymore. No. Oh, I guess I'll have to just get a new back and put on there no. in the drawer. Alright, come on. Anyways, but, oh, I'm watching this one girl and, you know, I told you guys yesterday about I really need to like get in my button gear about like working out and stuff like that well I do but I also like one of the things that people kind of I, I feel get messed up with and I'm not like a professional or anything but I feel people get messed up with trying to just stop eating everything that they enjoy to try to like put their body through like these big harsh workouts or like these crazy like pills and stuff you know, so I try to do what I know that my body's capable of, and I'm not wanting to, like, lose 100 pounds. So I'm not wanting to weigh, like, 50 pounds. I just need to lose, I think, about m maybe 15 to 20. And it's not even really lose. I just need to tone things up. I need to get my body a little more active. And it's hard to do that because it hurts. And I know, like, some people don't quite get that, but, like, everything hurts. Like, when Riley jumps on me, it hurts. When the kids hug me, it hurts. When Dell touches me, it hurts. Like, everything hurts all the time, you know? And, you know, I, I've talked to many people, and they're like, well, maybe you have fibromyalgia. You know, I don't know. There's a big possibility that's run in my family. I have several family members that have it. I don't know because... I just don't know. I went to the doctor to, to confirm it. But, you know, I also talked to a lot of women that have endometriosis and they've told me, you know, I exercise and it does help, you know, some, but I don't know. So I'm trying to like figure out what the heck I'm doing with my body. I don't know. I mean, I'm not like unhappy with my body, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like some of the stuff that I do is not like healthy, which like, okay, some of the stuff that I eat, like fried foods, all that, yeah, it's not healthy. Okay, got it. Maybe eating steaks, not healthy. Bacon, yeah. But, you know, I'm not going to, like, just try to cut all that out. I mean, that would just be insane. That would, like, whew, that would be nuts, okay? And then, plus, there are certain things in those foods that you do need. You know, I try to look for a little bit healthier way to maybe do things, but I'm not going to go just, like, all crazy and be like, I'm only eating fruit. I'm only eating vegetables. I mean, I just can't. You know, I've tried to slow down on the soda, which I have done. I'm very proud of myself for that. I'm kind of looking for other alternatives to that. Um, I will say, because everything's kind of, like, been chaotic and everything, I did start my birth control pill back. Yeah. One of the reasons was because everything was just so up and down, and I felt like it just, you know, with everything being so up and down, having a baby, not the right time. You know, so, and, I mean, there's other things, too, but, and then it's, like, my face, I'm pretty sure you guys have been able to notice, has been broke out, like, bad. My menstrual cycle, ten times heavier. I just, ugh. So, but then, you know, I've kind of been having some problems on the pill, so I'm kind of like, ooh, did I make the right decision on that? So, I don't know about that. But, anyways, this is, like, a really long beginning to the vlog. Anywho, but that's not the point of this vlog. I was, I was just looking for my earring. <laughs> the back of my earring. Anyways, but um, it is 10. I know I'm late, like, getting started here, but I've been, like, watching this one girl's videos. And I don't, I'm not a hater, and I haven't left, left her any mean comments or anything, but it's just, like, I, I don't know. She kind of, like, stands up on this high horse about all kinds of nutritional stuff. And it's kind of like, who are you to, like, judge? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't, I watch stuff, I don't leave any hateful comments, I don't like go and bash them to people, and I'm not like, so, well, I'm not giving a name to you or any like specifics, but 
anyways, just like, yeah. Anywho, yeah, we'll see what the day holds. I'll be, you know, I'll be in a better mood, surely. After I eat that, like, big old slice of lasagna. <laughs> Over here, like, I need to get my butt here. Let's eat some lasagna. <laughs> Even Riley thinks it's funny. <laughs> You're funny. Come here, we'll sing. Says, itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <laughs> So down came the down rain the and washed the spider out. Down the spider. <laughs> up came the sun and dried up all the rain. <laughs> it's the bitsy spider when up the water spout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut up this um, cantaloupe for Dale and the kids because they really like cantaloupe. Got this um, about a week ago. Been kind of waiting for it to ripen up a little bit, but they really like cantaloupe. I see. What do you got? Been digging your brother's room. So while I'm doing this, so it's not quite so boring. Um, I want to kind of, um, I guess, just kind of go over something uh, with you guys. Don't worry, it's not like serious, serious, you know. I mean, it's serious, but it's not like, you know. But uh, I had someone ask me, you know, they're like, you know, I love your vlogs. I love your cooking videos, you know. Um, your kids really seem to enjoy your meals. And, you know, your husband, you know, he's so lucky that you can cook and stuff like that. And, and they are. They really are, you know, because long story short, they were wondering how I get my kids to eat um, so much. Of what I cook, like the vegetables and stuff. He wants peppermint. <laughs> there you go. And uh, first off, I want to say they don't eat every single thing that I put in front of them. I would be lying if I said, "Oh, they eat everything and they enjoy it." That that would just be a lie, and I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend like you know that that's the case because there are a lot of nights where I'm like, eat your vegetables. You know, you need to try that, etc. So, anyways, um, I personally think the sooner you start putting the food in front of them, the more likely they are to eat it and find out that they like it, um, rather than later. Like with me, um, when I was a kid, when there was food, because there was times where there was seriously no food. And I know some people's like, you know, what? No, I didn't have the happy, you know, growing up and stuff like that. Anyways, um, there was times where there seriously was no food because my real mom and dad spent all their money on drugs and booze. So, uh, their four kids kind of got like left out there. But, um, anyways, I, I come into eating a lot of different things later in life. So I would guess probably after the age of 10 is when I really started um, getting to eat different things. Um, when I lived with my cousin, she didn't cook a lot. And I don't know if it's just because she didn't like to. She didn't know how. She was a very young bride. I, I'm not sure what the case was, to be honest. Um, but when she did cook, I mean, it was okay. But the thing is, I only remember like certain meals um, from that point in time. And I still make a, um, a couple of them, you know, now. But, anyways, I think just if I had been exposed to the different types of food as a child, I think I would have been a little more prone to eat them as an adult. So, I try to go, I try, I try to remember that with my kids. It's like, okay, well, I didn't even start eating, like, Supreme pizzas until I was, like, 13. Yeah. Which, I mean, I guess is normal to some people, but, uh, no, sir. Baby climbing up. Anyways, um, like I said, it's normal to some people, but to me, it's not. So, anyways, I think just the earlier you, it, you put it in front of them, um, they'll be more prone to try it and find out if they like it or not. <sighs> Go get a baby wipe. He's trying his hardest to use that sink. So... That's what I've been doing, 
is I've been making them try it and I'm like, you know, if you don't like it, fine, you've tried it and you know. But some parents, and Dale sometimes gets so mad at me, what bowl am I going to use? He goes, he'll get so mad at me because, I know I'm like out of focus there, whoops, out of angle. Anyways, he'll say, well, they're not eating this, you know, we're wasting, let's just stop making it and just make, you know, like really easy, simple meals like chicken nuggets and fries and hot dogs and hamburgers and sandwiches. And I'm not going to give up what I love, you know, the fruits, the vegetables, you know, different types of foods just because they don't like it. And I, I feel like if you, if you take that away from them, then that's what they'll, that's what they'll grow up eating. And that's what I grew up eating. Like I would go to Taco Bell, I would only get a bean burrito. I would always eat chicken nuggets and french fries, hamburgers, sandwiches. Like I don't remember ever eating like bell peppers, onions, stuff like that. The only vegetable I remember is broccoli when she made pistolets, which I have a recipe on my channel in case you guys are wondering what those are. Um, yeah, that's the only vegetable I ever remember eating. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that's all she cooked, but that's all I ever remember eating. Um, like I said, because she didn't cook a lot. I'm not sure why. I mean, none of my business really, but um, I, I just, I don't know. My kids don't eat everything I put in front of them, but I do try to hide it in some of their stuff. Like when you have spaghetti, lasagna, um, chili, stuff like that. Those are really great uh, meals to try to hide um, vegetables in. And you can even do like brownies with like zucchini and stuff like that. I don't go crazy overboard, but anyways, I just kind of wanted to like, you know, like kind of, I don't know, not really address that. But, you know, my kids are not perfect eaters and them kind of like leaving their comment on every meal kind of started out as a joke and then everyone liked it. And so we kind of like just keep that in there and I don't know. I mean, it's fun to watch because I think years later they're going to watch that and be like, Wow, at such and such age, I really didn't want to eat that, and now it's like my favorite. So, I keep that in there. But, anyway, so, I mean, if your kid's not, you know, eating a bunch of stuff, don't panic about it. It's alright. This, this vlog is going to be all about food, literally, so. <sighs> clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere, clean up. Clean up, everybody. Do you share? I don't think that'll fit, but you'll keep trying, though, won't you? Mm hmm. Just like a man. It don't fit, but I'll make it fit. Here's some stuff right here. Good job. What a big boy. He already put the pillows on the couch over here and the blankets. Not perfect, but it'll do. Good job. Oh, you want me to finish singing? Okay. Clean up, clean up, everybody, everywhere. He just likes hearing the song, I think. Let's do this. <laughs> you know the struggle is real. When you got to hot glue your makeup brushes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really going to have to break down y'all and buy some makeup brushes. <laughs> this is just beyond ridiculous, okay? But I got these three makeup brushes, and they're by e.l.f. You get them at, you know, the dollar store or whatever. Yeah, well, I use this one for my contour. And I use this one for putting um, it's yellow on spots, like when I have a breakout or whatever. And then this one I just kind of use when I'm putting my bronzer all over my legs or something like that. So they don't look so white. But they keep breaking off and it's hard to do your contour when you're going like that and then <laughs> in half. So I got my hot glue gun right here. I'm about to have to glue these puppies together. I know. It's pretty sad, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some new brushes. I just can't decide which ones I want to get because I read all these articles and they're like, don't waste your money on Sigma. Get Sigma. I mean, it's just like, which ones? And then I think I seen a video. What is her name? I can't remember, but anyway, she said there were some new elf brushes out, and she said they were pretty good, so I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to glue these for the time being and pop them back in my little makeup jar. Bam. That's what I'm doing, anyways. Dinner time. I'm making taco pizza for our Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Doing a little bit um, different 
this time because we always have like just regular tacos and stuff. So I'm trying to switch up like the different taco stuff on Taco Tuesday so it's not just same plain Jane stuff. So I'm also making a little cooking video for the taco pizza um, that I hopefully will have up by the end of this week. I still haven't even put up my Disney one because I haven't wore makeup in like forever. Like forever. So I need to like slap on some makeup. But anyways, this is what I'm doing. I got my hamburger meat browning. My beans going. Dell's in the shower. Um, kids are playing. So everything is as it should be. Alright, and here's my taco pizza. Got pretty. I think Dell's Pico de Gallo really does make it. Pop. Um, yeah, pop. That's what it looks like. Dell has been on me for like a week now. Yeah, try his pico. <laughs> That's what he keeps saying. He keeps saying, You want to try my pico? Like everything we have. You want some pico? 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 So, yeah, I'm gonna finally try it tonight. I have no idea of what it tastes like. Good. <laughs> but anyways, that's what we're having for dinner. Yeah, and you guys got apple juice. They got some apple juice. They got there some um, mild salsa. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna enjoy this. How is it? Have you eaten yours yet? Ah, uh, it's good. I'm yeah. talking to your dad. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. thanks. Is it good? Yeah. Thank you guys you. think it's good? It's a roasted jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I roasted that. Thank you. Thank you. Is it it's good? Good. Yeah. Awesome. Riley, is it good? So yes, this apple juice is delicious. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and eat mine. That's how cream. Awesome. Oh, hmm, see? 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 Don't know until you try it. We never said we didn't like the um, sour cream. Yeah. Mm. Sure. <clears throat> we are off to bed. We just finished um, watching a movie. They're Big Hero 6. I thought it was a pretty cute movie. What do you think? Yeah, it was alright. Pretty good. Yeah. Dell's laid up in night. bed like a grandma. Good night. His knee hurts. Wah, wah. Oh, yeah. Can grandma do this? <laughs> do what? Never mind. <laughs> anyway. I'll show you later. <laughs> no, he's not going to. Anyways, but I guess we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Nothing interesting is going to happen from this point on. I am going to turn my fans on and close my eyes and go to sleep. Yeah. Well, then I guess I'm going to go comatose on you, baby. <laughs> he watches too many movies. I don't know where Riley is. I'm assuming he's in the room with um, ow, the twins. God only knows at this point. He, like, he stays out of here and then he'll decide he wants to come back in here. So he gets up and down off the bed. Like a million times, so I don't know. He needs to start sleeping in his room though, because he sleeps in here and he lays all over my hair. It's probably what happened to the back of my earring. It's probably somewhere in this bed. I haven't found it yet though. I just put a new little back one on there. <coughs> so, anyways, but anywho, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight and see you guys tomorrow. Night, guys. Say goodnight, crippled. Good night, crippled. <laughs>